So, there's this one YouTuber, he's a little bit larger than I am, and he's really great. He makes videos from physics simulation games, and he makes some incredible amazing things in them, but recently he started doing Besiege. The thing is, he's new at the game, and that is simply unforgivable. Now, I'm no master, but I've played Besiege since 2015, and I believe I may be able to provide some useful insight on how to improve some of his creations. Starting today with the functional engine. Let's start with the crankshaft. I use ballasts for most of my builds, mainly out of habit, but also because they don't burn, they can take more hits, and I think they look better. These are the cranks of the shaft, and to make it all hold together, I'll use some braces. Braces in Besiege do have weight, so to make it more balanced and prettier, I'm going to shift them inside the blocks. Next, I will add this powered hinge. Set it to rotate 90 degrees in one direction only, then I can connect it to one half of the crankshaft. This will create an offset, so we have a crank at each 90 degrees. To mount the pistons I will use hinge blocks. I shrink them by half to make them fit better and I shift them inside the block. This way they will rotate around its center. Pistons in Besiege can be either attracted or extended by default, but there is no good way to place them extended halfway. To make the engine run smoothly, we need at least two pistons that are not directly opposed to each other. That is why I made the crankshaft this way. Both pairs of pistons start in the straight position, and as the hinge rotates, the pistons get stretched and compressed to get to the appropriate position. Set the first pair to one button, and the second pair to another. One of those is the same button I set the hinge to, so the crankshaft offsets automatically when the engine starts. Now to make the construction sturdier, I will add some points on the sides and make a bunch of triangles. Mirror them this way and this way, and the construction is complete. To make the motor run, I will use angle sensors mounted to the crankshaft. First one will detect 0 to 180 degrees to extend the first pair, and the other negative 90 to 90 for the second pair. Just to clarify, this engine does use four pistons, but since every other one is extended by default, both pistons in the pair fire simultaneously, which means that it works as if it had only two pistons instead of four. Having 4 just gives it more power and makes it look a lot cooler. Here you can see that it does have quite a bit of torque. That is the functional engine done. Last of all, I would like to challenge you, the viewer, to try my custom level, the outer wall. It doesn't look too hard, but you may be surprised. There's a link to the Steam Workshop page in the description. If you beat it, post your winning creation on the workshop and link it in the comments of the level or the ones under this video, and I will showcase it in a future video. Thank you, and have a nice day.